Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. News update for InfoLive TV, this is David Oman. Prime Minister Olmert reiterated on Wednesday that Israel does not intend to attack Syria as part of an effort to prevent Syria from misunderstanding Israeli intentions and launching an attack. Olmert has also sent calming messages to the Syrians through various foreign diplomatic channels. The officers to receive commendations and medals of honor for their role in the Second Lebanon War. The list, which was approved by IDF Chief of Staff General Gabi Ashkenazi, includes a doctor, Reserve Captain Alexei Kalganov, who will receive a commendation for his role in two battles. that the Western press was inciting against Iran and attempting to influence public opinion in a dishonest fashion. On the occasion of Journalists' Day, Ahmadinejad said the Western media was distorting coverage of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Pakistan's President Pervez Musharraf is mulling the possibility of declaring a state of emergency due to the deteriorating security situation in his country, which is battling radical Islamic militants on its Afghan border and within the country itself. A government spokesman denied reports the government planned to suspend citizens' rights. On Wednesday, it was announced that the prosecution will indict the head of the Islamic movement's northern branch, Sheikh Qaid Salah, on charges of incitement to racism and violence following his comments in February calling for martyrdom in a third Palestinian uprising against Israel as part of his protest against archaeological digs at the Temple Mount's Mubrupi Gate. A Dutch parliament member from the extreme right, Gert Wilders, on Wednesday raised a storm when he said the Quran was identical to Hitler's Mein Kampf and called for a ban on the Muslim Holy Scripture sale and study in Holland, claiming it incites to violence. Today on InfoLife TV, the moving testimony of Maurice, a French Holocaust survivor. Also on InfoLife, Sudanese refugees from Darfur receive massages from caring Israelis. Today the whole world talks about Israel, but who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.